if you like these categories in the double jeopardy round. All right, let's. Business biggies. Okay. Animals. Okay. Word origins. Mm hmm. Odds and ends. All right. Television. Poetry. These seem like good categories. Okay, player three, you start us off. We're going to start with uh, television for 200. Okay. Lucy Lawless played this warrior princess on a spin off of Hercules. Who is Xena? Television for 400, please. Player one, you choose. Kathy Baker and Ray Walston picked up Emmys in 1996 for their work on this series, canceled in 1996. What is Picket Fences? Television for 600. All right, pick again. Set in Baltimore, this show is subtitled Life on the Street. What is Homicide? That's it, exactly. Television for 800. You've got commanding lead. That I do. All right, pick again. It's the name of the home improvement show featured on Home Improvement. What is Tool Time? Close up category. This former TV conehead plays a human romancing an alien on Third Rock from the Sun. Uh, who is Jane Curtin? And I ran the category. Let's go to Business Biggies for 200. Called Big Blue, it controlled nearly 80% of the computer market in the 1960s and 1970s. What is IBM? That's it, exactly. I'll take Business Biggies for 400. Pick again. This world's largest car rental company grew out of a Chicago concern with 12 Model Ts. What is Brinks? No? Not Brinks, okay. What is... Hertz? Uh, I, I don't know. Right you are. Yes! Business Biggies for 600. HSY is the New York Stock Exchange symbol for this confection. What is Hershey's? Player one. Let's take Business Biggies for 800, please. In 1986, Capital Cities bought this television network for $3.5 billion. What is A, B, C? Yes. Business Biggies for 1,000. Hercules, a Delaware-based chemical maker, spun off from this company in 1912. What is DuPont? I'll take animals for 200. With its black spots, this fastest land mammal may be mistaken for a leopard. What is a cheetah? Player one. Correct. Animals 400. All right, pick again. The condor is a bird, and the conger is one of these. What is a fish? Oh no! That's wrong. Player two? It's an eel! I always get this clue wrong for some reason or another. Alright, contestant two. Word Origins 200. A chatty person has the gift of this. A word derived from the Middle English for to stop. What is gab? Player one? Right you are. Word origins for 400. Player one, what will it be? 
The name of these noted cavalrymen of Russia comes from a Turkish word for adventurer. Player three. The Cossacks, yeah, I knew that. To be sure. Your choice, player three. Odds and ends, 200. Holy Saturday is observed the day before this holiday. What is Easter? Player one. You are correct. Okay. It's your turn, player How about uh, odds and ends for 400, please? A silver wedding anniversary celebrates this many years of marriage. Player what one. is 25? That's correct. Odds and ends for 600. All right, pick again. This city is Ohio's principal port on the Ohio River. What is Cincinnati? Player one. That's it, exactly. I'll take uh, word order, or odds and ends for 800, I mean, excuse me. The first five letters of the Greek alphabet are Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, and this. What is Epsilon? Player one. To be sure. And Oz and ends for a thousand. It's the number of items in a devil's dozen, or in a baker's dozen. What is 13? Player one. Why, yes. Alright, pick again. Let's go with Word Origins for 600, please. The name of this room where you get sun is a Latin word for a terrace. What is a terrarium? Good guess, but that's wrong. Derp. Player three. A solarium, okay. That's it. That's right. Player three, it's your turn. Still a big lead of $13,000. Poetry for 200 The poem about this man, at the back, was made into a 1953 opera. Who is Casey? Player one. Why, yes. Uh, poetry for 400 I'm going to say who is James Garfield. That's right. Poetry for 600. Right, Charles Baudelaire wrote a poem about this bird, also featured in The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Player three. What is an albatross? Right you are. Yes. Player three, it's your turn. Word origins, 800. From the Latin word for shaggy or bristly, it's a synonym for hairy. Player two. Her suit? Exactly. Who would have thought? All right, contestant two. Animal 600. This very slow creature can turn its head 270 degrees, likes to hang upside down, and is three toes. What is a sloth? Player one. Exactly. Animals for 800. It's your turn, player one. Most of the world's lemurs live on this island off Africa's east coast. What is Madagascar? Player one. Animals for 1,000. All right, pick again. The silvery blue, the spring azure, and the common oak blue are blue wing types of this beautiful insect. What's a butterfly? Player one. Right you are. Uh, give me more oranges for 1,000. All right. Okay, I'm not feeling too confident with this category. I'm going to go $100 only. This word for cosmetic treatment of the fingernails comes in part from manis, Latin for hand. What's a manicure? Player one. 
I did not know what the clue was going to be, so that's why I did not go all that much. Why, yes. Poetry for 800. Okay. 200. Welshman who wrote, Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Take a look at your monitor. Okay. Oh, I don't have any idea who that is. So, I'm going to give a dumb answer. In the hopes that Alex Trebek says this, I know for a fact Jay will like this. So, let's see if Alex Trebek will say it. This is for Jay and all my friends on Skype and YouTube who like this. I'm going to put in... What is... That is incorrect. Let's see if he says it. That's wrong. He did not. Dylan Thomas. Here is the correct response. Oh well. I only lost two hundred dollars, and that's the last clue. One of the most famous of these poems is Basho's Old Pond, A Frog Leaps In, Water Sound. Oh, what's it called? A haiku? That's it. Okay, yeah. Alright, that brings us to the end of the Double Jeopardy round. So I have $16,000, player 3 is 4200 player 2 3100 So it looks like I'm on my way to a fourth game. Unless I decide to do something stupid. Which I won't do, so I'll tell you that right now. This is a no-brainer, unless somebody does something foolish. Which I don't plan to do. <laughs> Category is for final jeopardy. U.S. stamps. U.S. stamps. Okay. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, we have your wager, please. Player one, please make. Let's do four thousand. All right. Here's the answer. What? Coincide with this U.S. holiday. What is Memorial Day? Let's see how everyone is. Telephone. Thanks, Johnny. See who it is first. Player two. Your question. Oh. Hello. Sorry. That's incorrect. How much did it cost? Yeah, she's still up. Here she is. Oh, I guess it's just not your day. For you, Mom. Player three, no question? No. Not Mother's Day. What's that going to cost you? I think that's going to cost you everything as well. You end up with nothing. Player one, your question? That's right. All right. 4000 bring me up to $20,000. You're in the lead. For a three game winnings total of $80,000. Okay, I'll take that. Congratulations, player one. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thanks for playing. See you all for my next video, everybody.